Hey guys, thanks for uh, coming by today. We've got a knife to talk about. It's an interesting knife. I got this from White Mountain Knives and it's really cool that Justin, who owns White Mountain Knives, keeps up with this stuff because he's more progressive than I am as far as keeping up with the kind of wild and unusual um, knives that a little bit out of bounds for a lot of people. I mean, you, you know, you can't keep up with Kaiser or CRKT or Spyderco, Cold Steel, ZT, all that kind of stuff. But you know, these, some of these Chinese brands, I mean, Riot, you might be able to keep up with that. I can't keep up with Wii knives. Kaiser trying, but you know, then this is this Max Ace Irosu knife and it's a good looking knife. It's titanium frame lock, but it's Sandvik steel. So it's it's kind of a user knife with a, a stonewash blade, an interesting design, 12, 14C28N, Sandvik, used like on a lot of the real steel knives and the rake knives and stuff like that, but those are G10 user knives. So this is kind of unusual that you've got this, this titanium frame lock that's anodized See what I'm saying? Although you got a regular bent pocket clip, it's not a milled, you know, titanium pocket clip, that kind of thing. And I don't know if this is a steel pocket clip. I would imagine it would be. Well, son of a gun, it's not magnetic. So maybe that is something you could anodize if you wanted to. Obviously the rest of the hardware here is all uh, steel, or at least it's magnetic and you got dual thumb studs on this knife. It's a small knife. It's not even eight inches. Not close. A little flicker. It's not a flipper. See? And I will destroy, believe me, I will destroy the uh, anno on here really quickly because you can print this up. When you get a dark blue, man, it's really hard to keep it from, from dulling out real easy. But uh, real easy to middle finger flick this really easy okay now thumb flicking this you got to be careful because you can step on this lock bar and impede yourself from doing that like if i push really hard here it's gonna make this really hard to flip out but oh well you just watch that you got a little choil on the front here otherwise the blade piercing and slicing should be good let me see if i got a little piece of paper rolling around here whoop Watch out, Flanagan. It's coming your way, buddy. Uh, yeah, okay. Finally got you. <laughs> Finally got you. Okay, so it's reasonably sharp out of the box. Dude, we got to clear away the clutter. We done made, made a mess. In any case, it's a real kind of just very simple design, but it really flows, doesn't it? So Max Ace is doing this IRO, so at least that's the way it's listed under Justin's site. And as far as I'm concerned, he knows because he's their dealer, right? So I guess he'd know. There's your big old standoff in the back. And the screws look machined. I mean, they're actually nicely done. $79.95, $79.95. Well, you can get 14C28N. What are those? The rake and the real steel and stuff. They can run upper 50s. So this is 20 bucks more. So 20 bucks more for an anodized titanium. A little bit different design. Um, I think that's up to you. Although, you know, with the discount code on White Mountain Knives, LTK, uh, 10% off. Hey. So instead of uh, 79 or 80 bucks, so about $8 off. So low 70s, free shipping. Yeah, that might work. That might work. You got this little swedge up here, but it looks pretty hale and hearty up on this tip. See the, yeah, yeah pretty good little edge looks consistent here 
Yeah, the plunge grind looks great. Looks symmetrical. From what I can tell. Nice, nice looking. No backspacer on this, so it's an open design. Easy to get to everything and wash everything out. The lock up about 35% at least, I'd guess. Here's your your push through here, and you can see that you got a hardened steel insert in here. Uh, and over travel stop. Oh yeah. Built in over travel stop too. You can kind of see it just under here. A little bit if we kick the flashlight on you can see it even better and through there and then of course there's your insert in here with your detent ball drops nice for a light blade look at that oh my god I'm about to cut my damn thumb uh except it's so light it didn't have enough to going on it it's centered up I'm not getting any blade player lock rock out of this thing, but look at that drop. Wow. What a little uh, flicker toy, I guess, is what I'd call it. Because it's not a flipper, but it sure breaks loose real easy. Drops real nice. Now, the detent is not real strong on this knife, but <sighs> let's give it a shot. Okay. So maybe I'd say a four and a half. I'd say most of my flippers are like five to five and a half. Some of them fall a little bit below five, but this is definitely a four and a half. This is not as strong a detent. Um, let me see if I can actually do it this way. Okay, I can do it this way too. So four to four and a half, which makes it actually very delightful because it makes it so easy to middle finger flick. I know. You want a toy or you want a tool? I want a tool that's also a toy. I want something to do between cutting tasks. And if I'm bored or watching a game or something, I'll fish in my pocket and sit there and do this. You know, the nervous habit crap. But still, uh, this is really, this is really good. I like the flow of the lines. Look at this. Actually, it's really a great design amazing amazing seeing a little bit of the back of that blade but pretty much other than that those lines really flow on this dog they really do but it ain't it ain't very long not very long at all three and a quarter at best probably depends i mean see that bolster angles up so much i mean if you laid a ruler down here you'd get three and a half to three and five eighths at the back of that at the back of that choil, which is nice to have a choil, by the way, for sharpening purposes. But yeah, I, I think you gotta call it three and an eighth at at worst. And then seven and three eighths overall, eighteen and a half centimeters. Not a big knife. Oh, where are you, fancy? Come on out of here. She's a lot bigger. She's definitely going to look a lot bigger putting her down on this aspect ratio. See, smaller knife. Smaller knife, lighter knife, that's for sure. Flip the aspect ratio around. They look closer, but they're not real close. About an inch difference in length between the two of them. Ooh, tumble. Um... Let's check out the weight. 3.76. It's pretty light. 106, uh, 106 grams. So, yeah. Nice little flicker. Yeah, but you got to watch that. Watch this, uh, this lock bar. Because otherwise you're going to give yourself a hard time <laughs> flipping it. But you get off of it when you do the middle finger. So it's real easy that way. It just falls back in. It's almost a hydraulic feel. You know? That's kind of crazy for a 75 buck, $80 knife, you know? That kind of action. It's not real common. Especially on a knife that's really, really light like this. Because usually those real light blades, they don't fall like that. They just don't have that kind of drop. 
Uh, overall thickness, 0.45, so it's fairly slender. It's the same uh, as the Parrot Military 2, which is pretty slender carry as well. 11.5 millimeters, and let's get on the blade stock, see if we can get something measured up. Oh, three and a half, three point four, somewhere in there. And let's see if we can get inches put onto our deal. Come on, come on! Wow, that was an ordeal. Yeah, point one three six. So yeah, cool little knife. Really easy to handle interesting you know i like the design of this i think this is really cool they didn't go too far so they didn't pop it into the 100 plus range with s35 and maybe a backspacer and all kinds of crazy stuff don't know if you could put a lanyard through here um on this on this standoff you might be able to you might have enough clearance between that blade and there to do that you might in any case so still kind of treading dangerous waters when you do that uh but yeah cool light small easy to carry great blade steel i mean very uh stainless non-corrosive type thing and you get you know anodized or you can get the regular silver plain whatever you want um white mountain knives free shipping on all u.s orders so there you go 79.95 az04 max ace arosu zong the zong just remember 7.3 3.1 inch uh, blade so that 3.1 it's that's a little shorter than what i measured um in any case 58 hc um there you go a little a little bit lighter i think than what i measured too but ceramic bearings wow well no wonder it's smooth all right yeah it it does work well it really does it's a lot of fun to play with. And uh, I guess it'd be a good little user and a light, small, easy carry slender knife as well. So, cool. Feels good in the hand. Not a lot of room, obviously, on the handle, but I'm getting all my fingers on there and reverse carry or reverse grip is adequate, not generous. But it comes in a zipper pouch. So, I mean... Uh, could be worse, right? You get a microfiber cloth, all that kind of stuff. Hey, just like downtown, only less crowded. There you go. Hey, what do you think, Flanagan? I like it, I do. Yes, you do, and so do I. Hey, guys, I'm going to leave you. Got to go. I'll be back. Another knife review, another day. You know what we do around here? We do. We love them knives, so stay sharp, my friends.